this lecture we will be seeing the classes and object in that we are going to see what is a class objects and how to access the data members and the member functions what is a class it is a user defined data type a class is a blueprint for any functional entity which define its properties and its functions it encapsulates the information and behavior about an object a class contains the data members or the attributes a class is an expanded concept of the structure instead of holding only the data it can hold both the data and the functions let us see the syntax of how to declare the class this is the syntax of declaring the class the class definition always begins with the keyword class followed by the class name the class body contains the variables and the functions they are called as the class member the variables declared inside the class are called as the data members and functions are called as the member functions a access specifier is a keyword in object oriented programming language which sets the accessibility of the classes methods and other members access specifiers are grouped under the section private public or the protected they are mainly used to denote which members are private or the public and here we are going to terminate the class with the help of the semicolon let us see the example of how to declare the class here is a example the class keyword followed by the class name student this will now become a type identifier that can be used to declare the instance of the class the class contains the two data members and the member functions remember that data members are private by default while the member functions are public by default the function get data is used to assign the values to the member variables and the void show is it is used to display the values and then we are going to terminate the class with the help of this semicolon objects now we have created the class once it is declared we need to create the variable of the type an object is an instance of a class object are the basic runtime entities in an object oriented system which has the state and the behavior all the members of the class are accessed through the objects let us see the syntax class class name and the variable name access and the data members and the member functions you can access the data members and the member functions by using the dot operator if the data member is declared as the public let us see the syntax here is the syntax which is showing that object name then we are going to use the dot operator over here followed by the function name in the rounded brackets we are going to pass the actual parameters let us see the example here is the example that is the student dot put data 
this will display the values of the data members a member function can only be invoked by the object of the same class the data members can be accessed as student dot age is equal to 25 we have to take a note that private data of a class can be accessed only through the member functions of a class the access specifier what are the different types of the access specifiers and how to use the data members which are being declared with the different access specifiers with the help of the examples in this lecture we will be studying the access specifier for the c++ classes with the help of the example as in the last lecture of classes and object we have seen access specifiers are being used before the declaration of the data members and the member functions why this access specifiers are being used because they are used to enforce the restriction to the members of the class there are three types of the access specifier the first is private second public and last is the protected let us see one by one in detail the first access specifier that we are going to see is the private it makes any member accessible only to the member functions of the class this is restricting to use of the class members within the class it may be applied to the data member and the member functions the data members are normally declared as the private this encourages the information hiding let us write a c++ program to demonstrate the private access modifier in this we will first try to access the private data member directly with the help of the help of the dot operator and check what output we are getting first we need to declare the preprocessor directive that is hash include iostream then using name space std class class name student within this the first data member that i am going to declare it as a private int rule number then member function void put data this function is going to display the roll number see out slash in roll number variable name roll number and l now write the main function int main within this create the object first of the class student that is student stood see out statement to ask the user to enter the roll number see in here i am trying to access the private data member roll number with the help of the dot operator stood dot roll number then invoke the put data function with the help of dot operator stood dot put data finally 
return some value that is 0. Build the program and see what is the output. There were build errors. Would you like to continue and run the last successful build? So we will say no and see what is the error. Here the error it is showing that it cannot access the private member declared in the class student. Now to access the private data member, what changes we have to perform in this program? Let us do the modification. Over here, I will in the put data function, I will indirectly manipulate this roll number through the public function. Since this function it is being initialized to roll number with the value of the argument that will be passed in the put data function as int r. Then the value that is being there in the variable r it will be assigned to the roll number. In the main I will be declaring one variable which will be indirectly accessing the roll number. For that I will change over here also your role and as the parameter is being passed in the put data function we need to write it over here when invoking the function 2 for that I will write over here as the role. Let us build the program and see whether now we are getting the output As there are now no errors, the program is being built successfully and it is now asking us to enter the roll number. Here I am now going to enter the roll number as 5 and it is being displayed correctly. So this is how we are going to access the private data members indirectly with the help of the public function. The next access specifier that we are going to see is the public. The public members may be accessed by the member functions of the same class and the functions outside the scope of the class. Which means that the public members are accessible from any part of the program. The member functions are normally declared as the public which means if we forgot to declare the access specifier for the member functions at that time the member functions will be considered by default as the public. Now write a program to demonstrate the public access modifier. We already know that the data members or the member functions that are being declared as public we are directly able to access it with the help of the dot operator. Let us see its demonstration first. Hash include iostream. This is the preprocessor directive or it is also called as the header file. Then we will be writing using name space std class its class name within this first write the access specifier then the data member int roll number member function as put data in this function I will be writing the cout statement to display the roll number in 
इंटेल इन द मेन फंक्शन वी नीड टू क्रिएट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ द क्लास स्टूडेंट ऑब्जेक्ट नेम एज स्टूड सी आउट स्टेटमेंट टू आस्क द यूजर टू एंटर द रोल नंबर हियर आई विल बी एक्सेसिंग द डेटा मेंबर रोल नंबर डायरेक्टली विद द हेल्प ऑफ द डॉट ऑपरेटर स्टूड dot roll number now invoke the put data function with the help of dot operator stud dot put data finally written zero let us build the program and see the output here it is asking us to enter the roll number i have enter the roll number as 8 the value it is being displayed over here as 8 roll number 8 to access the roll number that is being declared as public we have used the dot operator directly and the last access specifier is the protected this protected access specifier is between the private and the public access if the member function is being declared in a class as protected at that time they cannot be accessed from outside the class but if we want to access it it can be accessed from the derived class so in this case the member of the base class can be used only within the derived class as the protected members except for the private members